happened during the game. Did you even register that? Chant it. Who? Uh, there was a Draymond chant, chant going on in the in the Cleveland crowd. I was wondering if anybody even mentioned that in the, in the huddle or anything like that. Didn't hear it, didn't hear it you can hear it on the tape then, all right? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't hear it at all. Um, like you said, we learn from our mistakes. And when you play a team over, and this is our 20th time playing them in three years, you know, there's going to be some stuff that happens. And you just got to kind of persevere and get through it, especially on the road. Mark on the left. Steph, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. You guys put a lot of eggs into that 73 basket last year. Didn't work out. How much of that lack of success played into the fact that you guys have not put seemingly any effort into trying to go 16-0 and this year? Um, I mean, we've been asked about it. We've talked about it since, you know, since the finals last year that, you know, last season was a very unique year um, for a lot of different reasons. And uh, we learned a lot. Uh, and I think we've grown and matured just mentally of how to just pace yourself through this long year and take every day as a, uh, a new experience and something that uh, you can kind of take control of. So we've tried to control the narrative and the, and the conversations and just um, our talk in the locker room and in practice and throughout the, you know, especially like the last three months of just understanding what our goal is and how we're going to get there day by day. So being in this position right now, um, obviously, you know, it's, it's working and we have to keep – keep that keyhole mentality of, you know, what's next. Um, and we're right there. So that's that's a, a, a great thing. But obviously, you know, we're not done yet. So uh, I think we've, we've done a pretty good job of growing up as a team. One quick follow-up for either of you. Steve Kerr said that he kept telling you guys, LeBron and Kyrie can't do this for 48 minutes. They're going to get tired. Did that seem apparent to you that they – ran out of gas toward the end? It didn't look like it to me. Um, <laughs> I mean, they both shot over 50% from the field. Over, Yeah, 50%. My math's not really good, but they shot over 50%. They both had almost 40 points, um, and they did it for 40-plus you know, minutes. They played extremely well, um, but I, I just think we, we stayed in front of them late in the game and you know got a contest on some shots. and. Rebounding the basketball, but they got it, they had it going all night. You got to give them credit. Kenny on the right. Steph Kenny wrote to WHBC. You mentioned that calmness down the stretch, even though you were down. Was it there last year, or was that calmness because of the guy that's sitting to your left? I mean, he obviously helps the situation, but um, the experience that we've been through definitely helps. Um, you know, you, you hope that we can learn from how the games got away from us in, in game threes on the road here where two or three possessions where you give them, you know, easy open threes or turn the ball over, they get breakaway dunks, all that kind of stuff where the crowd really gets into it and they feed off of that energy. Um, we did a pretty good job of, of, you know, cutting that out this year. So um, that was huge. And we just – as a group, everybody understood what they could, the little things that they could do down the stretch to, to help us win. And you know, not all of it's just scoring; it's the little stuff. Like he said, Clay Thompson was amazing. Um, you know, down the stretch, just trying to make it as tough as possible on Kyrie in those one-on-one -on -one situations. Andre staying locked in um, on LeBron in those moments. You know, Katie and Draymond communicating. Um, you know, being our anchors on defense and. That part of it is is just so much fun to be a part of and watch as everybody just is is fighting, being dogs out there, just trying to get it done. And um, you know, we're right there. Ramona, Dan, and Chris, last three. Ramona Shaw, Bernie, it's been a question for Kevin. How does how does this time through the finals compare to the last time you were there? I mean, I, these guys have been in here two years in a row. They, they played this team so many times, but this is obviously different for you. And sitting here right now, up three zero. Yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, I've never been in this position before. Um, I don't want to relax. It's not over. Um, you know, this is a crazy game. Anything can happen. So uh, I don't want to relax it or feel like it's over. It's not. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy this moment, not trying to try not to look in the, in the future or in the past. Just try to just stay, stay in the present and enjoy this moment and for what it's worth and just keep pushing.
keep getting better until, and then I'll sit back and probably reflect on everything, you know, <clears throat> once the season's over. But for now, I'm just trying to stay in the moment, enjoy every single minute, and, um, you know, just keep getting better. Dan, back right. Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, Steph, you just mentioned uh, the work that Clay did down the stretch defensively on Kyrie. Um, obviously, such a difficult assignment with uh, what Kyrie can do one on one. What has Clay's work in this series on Kyrie meant to your team? Uh, and also, Clay mentioned that when you guys see him getting going, it gets you guys excited offensively. Uh, what kind of uh, uh, effort that he put out in the first in the first quarter did that really sort of get you guys in a, on a roll offensively? Well, yeah, for Clay offensive, we're never worried about him. Um, you know, he's always aggressive. We know he's a threat whether he's making or missing shots just by his presence on the floor. Uh, but tonight he was smart about, you know, getting it, getting to the right spots, finding his, his looks, being confident, knocking them down early, being aggressive. Uh, definitely gave us a boost. And you're right, like when we see him get going, it's it's fun to watch because he's pretty much automatic when he's able – he's in that zone and putting pressure on defense. Um, and then defensively, obviously Kyrie got, you know, his numbers um, – you see a stat line, but you know over the course of 44 minutes, you know he's going to make tough shots, and you, it's just a matter of can you can you stick to it every possession, just trying to make him work. And Clay didn't hang his head when when uh, you know it was Kyrie was was, was going off. Uh, he stuck with it, and when it mattered most down the stretch, um, I think all that pressure kind of um, showed itself, and, and Clay really um, helped us get over the hump by getting a couple stops. So. He's, you know, a lot's, a lot's been said about his defense and how, how important it is, and, and you, you can't understate it. It's just uh, he understands how valuable he is for us on, on that end of the floor. Chris, final question back right. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Kevin, for you, you had one point in the third quarter, 14 in the fourth quarter. What changed for you in the fourth? What allowed you to be so successful when you didn't have that success in the third? I didn't look at it as a uh, – Unsuccessful third quarter, um, you know, and that's that's just that's half of the battle there. You know, I just try to stay positive and move on to the next play. And knowing the fourth, that coach will call my number, my teammates gonna look for me. <clears throat> it's on me to finish. You know, I work on my game every day, and you know, I just had to trust in that. And you know, I was able to get some shots to go in, and you know, but we played with force in the fourth. In the third quarter, we were, you know, we were a little bit too relaxed. You know, we were up six and. That was a good place for us to be coming out of the half, but we didn't we didn't do what we were supposed to do in the third. So um, I think we just played with more force as a group in the fourth quarter, and they put it on us in the third. So um, we got to watch some film and see how we can be better coming out of half. Thank you, guys. This concludes the session for tonight. Just a reminder, team practices tomorrow, both here at Quicken Loans Arena.